Enoch just had a crazy doubling up all of a sudden overnight. Literally just jumped right now actually. I woke up this morning and I saw the jump. Let's see. Let's see why it jumped. Uh, let us see why it jumped. Good news. It sounds like good news because it was a pretty big uh, jump all of a sudden. Announces FDA acceptance of a pre-IND request for potential HIV cure. Interesting. Curing HIV is no joke. Hmm. During HIV with gene therapy. Wow. Already doubled. It's up 150 percent. I also set up my um, my Weibo account, so I was able to pick up things earlier. Because you know Weibo has a better pre-market and after-hours session, and uh, you can buy things like starting at 4 a.m., which is pretty awesome. So I picked up some Sense over there. Sense Sonics has been doing some big moves ever since uh, I think ever since like two weeks ago it's had its moments of scalping but generally speaking it's been going up pretty well um, yeah so if we look at it over the week it's up 42 percent but over the month forget the whole month just starting from like right here over the uh, two weeks ago right so June 2nd June 1st basically since June 1st it's it's definitely gone up a lot and it's just continued to go up. Looking forward to it going up, but let's see. Enough. So everyone's asking, like, what my thoughts are on it from a from an MD point of view, and my theory on this would be that it is no joke to say that they can possibly cure HIV. That's that's pretty that's a pretty strong um, judgment to to kind of overlook. Uh, it's a very strong statement, if anything. No one can actually cure HIV because of how it can keep changing and how it kind of over, uh, eventually overrides your immune system by tiring it out. So that's a pretty bold statement that they're trying to go for. So I wouldn't buy this today because now what we need to wait on for Enob is their massive FDA approval. That that's the hardest part, right? They're they're still pre FDA approval. They're trying to get FDA approval. Right? They're announcing FDA acceptance, but once they get FDA approval, then it would it would fly. And just like this guy right here, Peruvian Toro said, if it drops, I'm buying more. Yeah, for sure. You know, everyone that was holding shares in this that bought it at four dollars and something at some point in their life 
today they're definitely selling they're selling and yeah, they're probably waiting for it to hit 12 at which point it would be triple their investment and they're gonna sell and after all, all those sellers you know take their positions out of here it's gonna come back down to a more simpler uh, value taking a look at everything I've already got positions in so CDPX is, a, is down a little bit Regulus we're hoping that it can keep going up it's still down a little bit EVFM the uh, sex stock with uh, their product called the Fexi or whatever for women this is up okay hopefully it keeps booming let's see ADXS uh, the, the penny stock I have a strong position in up a tiny bit but not really still has space to go up this I already have a sell order for. It was supposed to reach my price target of 660 uh, when I bought it, but it, it didn't. After I bought it, the highest it went was 645. Came back down a little bit, but my stop loss would be like six if anything. I got in at 631. This should this should hopefully hit 660 today. If it starts going below that, I'm gonna get out of that. Uh, let's see. Must oh yeah, M Bio and F Bio and all those other guys that go together. Definitely keeping an eye on them. PTN is another very affordable penny stock. I would say a potentially good uh, swing play. Also related to women. Our primary party candidate is the Velisi brand, which uh, is a peptide monocordon for a treatment of premenopausal women with acquired hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Basically, women who have difficulty getting turned on. So, that's a great product for women who have difficulty getting turned on. So I'm gonna keep that. I mean, if, if so, I already put a lot of my funding into picking up a hundred Litecoin this weekend. I picked it up right before the big news popped up of um, Tesla uh, accepting Bitcoin once again, right? So that was that was pretty interesting. Oh, this is nice. AMC broke fifty again. It's been on a pretty good uptrend for a while, ever since last. Uh, I think ever since Friday, basically. Friday was when it finally started taking an up uptrend. A lot of chit chat over the, over the internet about weird things regarding AMC, but I think it's pretty safe to say that AMC is not going to be breaking seventy and going to a hundred anytime soon. Uh, as much as the hedge funds may be exhausted, so are the people that are trying to buy all this. So you know, there's that. Yeah, you know, might might make it to two hundred percent, but again, not a safe investment point right now. You don't want to buy it when it's this high. A stock that has an average value of being four dollars fifty cents all its life, and now it's over twelve dollars. You know that as soon as you try buying any shares in this right now, that there's like a really high chance it's just gonna fall. So be very careful. This is just worth a great watch today for their great news that has come out. And then you work with that and uh, work with that news and hope for more advances in their news so that you can actually get a good position in there. Let me see what else we're looking at today. Yeah, they're, they're both about the same price. They, they go together as well. Like they have a lot of uh, news that goes together. Meds was doing great last week. Not sure if there's going to be an opportunity to do any advances with them today, but you never know. Last week was a crazy time for them. I played all the way up to yep, $10 from 4 and slowly too. So people got to ride that. I was part of that too. Uh, AHT, I just wanted to keep an eye on, see what's happening today. This guy, AHT, man, I remember when we first looked at it. Mm -hmm. You can see anyone diamond handing it would definitely be very happy. 
Uh, day trading also very happy. Many moments to scalp it too. So there's been that. I want to keep an eye on that today. See how it does. Uh, but yeah, Enob is the uh, the big special news guy today. Let's take a look at uh, one more thing I want to see real quick. So ETTX. That's like about a 30% jump. What did they achieve? Let's see what they achieved. What is their big news? No big news. Well, at least no big news as of now. They haven't had any news since May 5th. That's pretty weird. take a position in that later on I'm not really going into a AMC just wanted to check how I did this morning ABCO has been halted because of news for acquisition interesting this is a penny stock what's 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 it gonna become when it gets unhalted that's pretty weird What is it supposed to become after this news? Let's see. SEC really needs to take a break. Just, just go on vacation. Stop it. So they're buying another group. Wonder what that could be for. Buying a stock that's been halted is always a little bit, a little bit scary. Uh, so I think. What is? I don't even know how long it's going to be halted for because if it's halted because of news about an acquisition or something, this may be halted for quite a while. We'll keep it open. We'll just keep an eye on it. I'm not going to be buying this today. Definitely not buying this today. But this is going to be a huge watch because they have been very bold with their term of possibly curing HIV. They didn't say they can treat HIV. They can apparently cure HIV. That's that's no joke. That looks like it's stabilized now too. A lot of these might actually be moving later on when, uh, like after after noon, you know, after twelve, 
some of these are going to make some pretty big jumps that are as they happen if i tend to catch any of them or if i buy into them i'll be putting it i'll definitely be saying it in the in the server right, in my discord server i think the link should be in the description i'll check for that and so these are all the things that we were supposed to launch today oh lkco yeah, and then and then for long-term buys right so last week neo workhorse intc and snap they had some pretty big moves um very big moves actually neo is looking very green so there's some long-term moves that you can watch and try to get a good entry into whenever you feel like it and hold um but yeah as, as the day goes on you know in the market discussion page right here i'll keep saying whatever i bought how much i got in for if i'm selling etc etc so definitely feel free to uh join in on the discord link and then let me see what else was visible on the watch list today all right, LKCO. So LKCO, CLDS. We've got over already. Rainy morning. Interesting. This probably won't unhalt until like 1 p.m. or something. With penny stocks that are moving slowly, but then they suddenly have this kind of shit happen overnight. Like I could have, I could have bought any time last week. Could have bought earlier last month. Would have been very green, but they they were just moving so slowly for like the purposes of day trading. Um, now that it's over two dollars, I'm not so sure if I want to pick up LKCO. No, I would not buy Enob today. No, so uh, we were just talking about it a little while ago that Enob, they've done a great job talking about how uh, they can apparently cure HIV and they're in the works of potentially getting FDA approval, but they haven't really gotten FDA approval yet. Uh, they're, they're working on it. They're trying to, but a potential HIV cure, first of all, we said that saying cure rather than HIV treatment is a very bold statement to make and then on top of that what the day they get FDA approval because it actually does work that'll be the day this company's stocks are gonna like soar above everything um, because if you can cure, cure HIV then at that point you can cure many other things right um, 
But yeah, I wouldn't buy it today because anyone that was holding this share, that was the other main point. Anyone that was holding the share because they invested in it at one of these points. And look, it's always been like that, right? It's always been around this four to six dollar, three to six dollar range. So whoever is bag holding since then, today their investment almost tripled. So now they're gonna be selling. I highly doubt that this is gonna go much higher today and it's not a safe investment to make. You know, like anyone that's gonna buy it at these higher prices, this is very easily gonna you know be coming back down because everyone is happy about their investment, they're gonna take the money out. You know, not not many people are gonna put money into it today because Although the meme stock stuff has kind of slowed down, um, AMC is still kind of trying to get clout. You know, they, look at them. Right, so they're still trying to get people to oh come back and put money into here. Like something is happening because it's above fifty again, and climbing. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy in out today. Don't worry about buying in out today. You could try day trading it at moments here and there if you want to, but don't actually try to get a you know investment position into it don't invest into it don't hold enob at such a high price because this enob is a stock that is supposed to be at best really just four dollars or five dollars tops This seems like th this here with Corsair Gaming. I mean, I, I play video games a lot. I buy gaming keyboards and stuff like that. But what's happening with Corsair here is very much seeming like a Reddit pump or something. So that's definitely not normal. They don't have any news or anything new they did. It's literally just bullshit. But it's definitely catching a lot of people's eyes, so there's that. Five more minutes till opening, and then we get to see what's actually happening today. Because this is some bullshit. It's nice to see a penny stock halted. It would be wonderful to get some position in it and drive it up. I mean, I think I'll just submit an order and we'll see rather than doing a limit order because you can't really put a limit order here. You don't know how much it's going to unhalt at. Uh, I'm going to put in right out. Uh, well, it's not even going to be at opening, but it'll buy whatever it'll buy when it buys it, I guess. Let's try that. Oh, it wants me to set the limit price. Uh, yeah, because we don't know how much it will be when it unhalts. Yeah, fuck you, SEC. Fucking SEC. There's two stocks being discussed, both Sense, S-E-N-S, and then S-E-S-N. Where S-E-S-N is one for bladder cancer, it seems. I try your cancer cells. This is also going up all last week. But it's going up in such an unstable way. Look, this is like a scalper's domain right here, right? It goes up, you sell it, it falls, buy it again, sell, buy it again, you know, that kind of shit. But those falls are not even like small falls, they're pretty 
some pretty painful falls depending on how many shares you're holding also notice the falls the way they're happening look it starts falling after hours the next morning when you get online it's still falling a little bit you panic sell but then it just skyrockets so you always got to wait a little bit before you actually you know you, you, people have stop losses set at such strange positions positions sometimes but like what can you do you don't you don't always know how to set your stop loss because you can't really see the future more minutes so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to ride this just a tiny position nothing crazy uh, just want to see I just want to see where this goes. I'm going to pick up a small position in this. Remember, I'm working with smaller funds now because um, I picked up a bunch of Litecoin this weekend, which definitely was a great call. I could sell some of it, but I'm just going to hold it now. I picked up 100 more Litecoin at 162, after which the whole Bitcoin news came out, and then it just. Uh, so, yeah, I picked it up like right here somewhere. And then yesterday it went to 170, today it's going up more. It shouldn't take too long for my entire quota of Litecoin to be above 200, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Here we are, 9.30, opening bell. So what's happening, Enob going up. Gonna have to see where I sell it. I got my position at 11.63. Since I'm holding in my Weeble, so I'll keep an eye on that separately, but uh, I got cents at 4.50 in Weeble. Now my Weeble account is more of a small account challenge kind of thing. It's not, it doesn't have uh, extreme funding in it. I set it up. Um, I have some of these free stocks I got from Weeble because of their promotions, but um, I have not really moved much funding into here. So whatever funding I did have, first of all, I'm going to get rid of these guys. I'm going to sell these guys at a pretty good price. I don't know what a good price to sell them is yet because they were pretty random stocks that Weeble gave me. So. I'll sell them, but whatever funding I did have in here, I put into Sense just to see what happens. I'm going to try to grow this uh, as a small account for now until I move money into here. So that's that's the goal with that. Uh, but yeah, Sense is currently on a somewhat downward trend. We have Enob doing little things here and there. Also, remember the big guy ORPH from last week? Uh, HT doing its thing as well. Or pH was up a thousand percent last week. It's it's still ever since that day of going up a thousand percent over here. Um, it's gotten a lot of attention for obvious reasons, and now a lot of people are keeping an eye on it, and it keeps pumping randomly. But uh, you know, if it, if it, if it ever does another thousand percent jump again, uh, I'm pretty sure most people are gonna miss it because I don't plan on holding a position in that stock. There's no reason to really hold a position in the stock. It's literally a shit stock. Like there's nothing special about it. Uh, they, they haven't done anything as a company, nor have they talked about doing anything as a company. So yeah, people are just playing around with it, hoping that it'll pump up again. Jaguar Health, yes, that that's one worth you know buying. 
the good day was this stuff when this happened. I remember when Jaguar Health was being discussed at this price at a time, and I didn't really feel like buying it. And then all of a sudden, within a couple months, it went all the way up to four dollars. So anyone that picked it up at point two, point four, it was like another uh, doggy coin era kind of thing. Like you just became a millionaire depending on how many you bought. Uh, ever since then, though, it's steadily come back down. And now, uh, very recently, starting May June. It's been kind of going back up and it's been going back up with pretty big jumps big jumps you know, It's hit two dollars Come back down probably gonna hit two dollars again, but I don't see it doing anything crazy nor is there really any news on them Let me just check Yeah, this shit's just jumping around GIT gastrointestinal stuff. Yeah, they, they don't have anything, you know, any any special news that would really make them blow up. Okay, so that's that's basically it for them. Uh, LKCO doing its thing as well. Also doesn't have any special news. Right? Let me just check again. I forgot. All these guys that are going up but don't really have a special reason for going up usually means that it's just being pumped. Yeah, nothing special. This is Hodel for Life. CDKX came back up. Keep going. This guy's playing around. This is still going up. That's good. This is a swing play, ADXS. I'm going to hold it for maybe a month, maybe two. Uh, should be making its way towards a dollar any day. MNPR, I have my limit sell place for 660. Not sure if it's going to make it there today, but let's see. Definitely gonna try to get a position in this eventually. This this had a pretty pretty big jump over overnight. It was it was of importance last week, and then today, anyone that held it over the weekend, they're they're gonna get to reap their benefits. This is approaching two. HT was just positive and now it's red. All right, so that's basically it for all that. Small position in Enob. Should should be pretty shaky right now with people deciding whether or not they want to sell it or hold it and then people trying to see if they want to invest into it or not. Other than that though, not much else really happening at the moment. So as the day goes on, I'll be updating the title here to, to see what's happening and I'll be updating the Discord channel based off of whatever I'm buying into and buying out of. So let's see how it goes. Thanks a lot for joining and I'll see you guys tomorrow.